Let's move on to implementing our card application. We'll be building a simple application to manage the list of people with basic operations like creating, reading, updating, and deleting the records. So we'll start by creating the model, which is our entity class. So let's go to Intel J. So here we're going to create a package model. Let's create a class person. So this person, uh, they should have all the fields uh, which we defined there. Uh, so this is my uh, this recommendation is given by Cody. I have integrated Cody with system. So private string a name and we can we should have the getter and setters for this. So let's use a Lombok thing, getter and setter and constructor as well. So no as constructor, all as constructor, and we can use the builder pattern as well. So let's have the field for email and next is is okay now we got our entity class created so now we should create a big query configuration class so this this class is essential for setting up the big query service with the appropriate credentials let's go and create a config package so let's create a class big query configuration big query and name it config so since this is a configuration, we have to specify a configuration annotation. So here uh, we should be uh, having the variable to uh, which points to our uh, BigQuery file. That is the JSON service account file. So here, since we configured in application properties, we can refer to this one. And we can mention add value. This is the spring annotation. This uh, substitutes the value of the Google uh, credentials application location. And then uh, we should be having the project ID also as well. Uh, so here add value ID here. So we should define a variable for that. Project ID. So next is to create a BigQuery beam. So for that, we need to be having our uh, BigQuery's uh, dependency. We haven't added it yet. Let's go and add our dependency here. So Let's go to the Gradle file we have. Build a Gradle, and then we have it implementation. So this is the uh, dependency for the BigQuery. The moment we had here, we see that uh, detecting that changes. So we can say refresh. So yeah, now uh, it got downloaded. We can use a BigQuery class now for creating the bean. So let's go and create a bean here. Add it of bean. So now this should be a public method. So it already shows the recommendation here. So this is given by Cody. I'm just one second repeating that. So here uh, we can delete all this and just import this. Here also same Google Cloud credentials. Remove this. So so here we essentially setting our credentials and product ID and. So now that we define the configuration class, let's go and create the BQ client class. So let's create a package client. So this, this class is basically required for interacting with BQ. So let's create that BQ client. This is a component. Since it's managed by Spring, we should name it. Uh, I use the annotation. So here uh, we should be auto wiring the BigQuery. We just create that configuration, right? So this is private BigQuery and BigQuery. So this basically uh, here we need to define a method query. So this would be used by service class to query the BQ. So let's define that method public table. Uh, so it returns table result. So we have already seen the recommendation here. So let's define that configuration. And this is a new builder dot build. So see, this is basically a builder pattern. So it is table result. And uh, let's declare it here. So here it should use BQ and use query. And this should take the query config. 
so it seems that it throws the exception so we should handle this exception how do we handle that so just add someone with try catch okay and how to the end we need to return result so return result so let's keep it out of the strike clash book this iteration and let's have it here so yeah this is sorted so now let's create a service class to form queries to interact with the big query so let's create a service package So let's create a person. So let's create a person service class. This is a service class. We should annotate it to using the add service. So here we should be using the BigQuery client we just created. Private BigQuery client. This should be auto wire and then let's also uh, use the whatever we have the project id and data set id so this is for uh, like the forming the table name so let's go here uh, we have it configuration here right so we just copy this thing project id so just duplicate this name it dataset id this is dataset id so yeah we have the variable declared and then a next next variable is we should create a table name since we need to form the table name for querying so let's declare the table name variable this same table for all the class right so this table name uh, should be formed like we know the table name is person the full should name should be uh, let's go to like I'll, I'll show you how the table name looks so here click on details so here the table id is this one right so we should form the same table id here so but instead of hard coding it let's get it from the config that's what are we doing it so let's go here so let's uh, do a post construct annotation so basically we are doing post construct here because uh, the variables here which are uh, that would be uh, initialized only after the class is built so once this class is built uh, we, we should be initializing this table name with the help of the product ID, data set ID and the table name we have. We should define the fully qualified table name. It's not that just table name because there could be many projects, there could be many data sets. So it should always be the fully qualified table name. So let's create that void initialize in it. Let's keep it in it. And let's initialize this variable. This is a table name. So yeah, this is person and product id and you got it right basically we're doing the format and it forms the same table id which we have here spring so next is we need to create a method for save person this is for creating purpose so this should be a public method public this should return none this should, this won't return anything so keep it void so save person so here set id uh, we'll be using the uid person we just import this so yeah we have it done and next let's create a method for getting all the persons so that is list all persons and this is java idle class so here uh, we should form the query for that so first let's declare the query whatever we require this name is from the table and then we should be having the table result uh, once we query that so let's declare the table result the result is equals to how we get the result basically we call the big query client and query it right post that we need to uh, declare a variable uh, for holding the persons so let's define the list class for that person persons is equal to list this is array list 
and then next is we just iterate all the result and then for each row we need to pass that so let's get this uh, whatever uh, fields we define we need to get it from the row so what we're doing is id. we have the id for the table right so for that id field so oh, one second here so here we're seeing the error because this field uh, this is not a we imported a wrong uh, UUID here. Uh, yes. Let's import the UUID from the Java util. Okay. Now this fixed. So yeah. So errors happen while coding. So that's normal. Uh, but we just under string for name. So yeah, we get the string value next for the email. Okay, email. So get string value. Next is the is is the integer. So no, we got all this. So remember we use the builder annotation there. So that's helpful now. We're using the builder pattern. Basically in person class we have the builder uh, annotation, right? So we're using it here. And then we can now uh, add the person to the person list. So let's add it person and now we have this uh, for like for each row we just processed it so let's return the person now we should end it with column return the persons so next uh, we have to define the method for updating the person so let's uh, define that public void this is gonna be an update person. This takes the person. So let's have the query for that. So here uh, we have the update query coming as a recommendation. Uh, percentage s. Uh, okay. Where id, where a is equals to d because uh, percentage is d for basically for that number purpose. And we have the ID and um, so here we just need to inject the values now so we should be having the table and the person name and the email now okay uh, we have this and just declare this and next we just need to call the BigQuery client and then execute the query so next is to define the method for delete public void delete person this should happen by id so here it's just from the query and just executing it so we already have the recommendation so thank you for watching stay tuned for the next part where we'll continue your journey into the mastering spring boot with google bigquery don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when the next video is released